Okay, I will solve sparse arrays and uh, basically they give you two arrays. The one, the first one called the strings, the second one called the queries. And you need to find how many times each string in the queries array appears in the strings array. Uh, I think the simplest way to solve this is use, to use the map data structure to count e how many times each string in the strings array appears and then use the map function to uh, map the queries the each string in the queries with the result from the map uh, data structure. Uh, I think showing the code will be much easier to understand. So I would create a variable called uh, counter. It will be it's it's a map. So I will use the map data structure. And now I will calculate how many times each string in the strings ap array appears uh, using the for each. Okay, so for each string in the strings array, I will check if we ha if we don't have it inside the counter map. So if we don't has have it, so I will just set it. So counter dot set. Uh, the key it's the string itself, and the value will be one. So this is the first time. And else, if we have it, uh, I will just counter dot set the string itself, and I will just increase the value by one. So the counter dot get the string plus one. That's it. So now I have how uh, I have how many times each string appears in the strings array. And just to show you the result of this thing, I will just try here uh, to run one of, to run one of the test cases. So this is the strings. This is the queries, and this is how many how many times each string appears. So this one here appears three times, which is correct, uh, as you can see from the highlight. So the N A appears three times as well. The this one A S D G F J F appears four times, which is correct. So the final thing we need to do is qu return queries uh, dot map. Uh, so I will just call it Q. So I will return uh, counter dot get Q or zero. Uh, and let me just show you. And this is correct, by the way. Uh, w what I'm doing here on line eight, I'm just saying uh, for each element in the queries array. So this is how I am uh, holding the positions. So I return each number in the correct position. So for each element, it check if if it exists as a key. In the counter in the counter map, just get it. Uh, if if that's not the case, it does not ex if it does not exist there, I will just return zero. So this is or if this is a false value which is undefined, if it does not exist in the map, I will just return zero. So this is it. This is the solution. Let me copy it and go to uh, here. So let's submit. Uh, I really like this question. It's uh, interesting. I once interviewed with uh, Amazon, and they gave me something that uh, it's 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 much harder than this. But this is the how you start solving it. You need a map, and anyway, so yeah, it's correct, and I would hate it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, thank you.